Hello again everybody. Well, here we are again. Another episode of Gun Shorts. Uh, another gun. A couple of weeks back we had the 725 Mark II. This week, 725 Pro Sport. You will recall I was not a fan of the 7252. Uh, didn't get on with it. The gun beat me up. The uh, size of the stock was not to my liking. It was uh, definitely pushing me around and definitely smacking me in the face a bit. This, the 725 Pro Sport, uh, extra 700, sorry, not 700, extra 450 quid or 475 on top of the black edition of the 725. What do you get for your money? Well, for a start, you get this adjustable stock. The uh, the comb is fully adjustable. Uh, quite a clever system, if I do say so. It's, uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> quite a clever system. The um, single bolt hole here, you don't have to take this part off. You can uh, stick an Allen wrench through here, undo that, and the whole uh, system, the whole comb comes off and everything is adjustable at that point. You can pop it back on, set it to the height and the, the position that you want to tighten that single bolt back up and the whole thing locks up again. It's actually really clever. The uh, stock shape itself is, I think, much better. This is a, a significantly a slimmer design. The pistol, uh, pistol grip itself is of a better shape, better radius. The palm swell is in a better position. It's just generally a much better design, I think, certainly for me, with my size of hands, to shoot. Uh, adjustable trigger, which you already get. Black action, you already get. Matte barrels, I believe the black edition has the um, non-matte. I prefer the matte, if I'm honest. It's just an aesthetic choice to me. The rib on this thing is quite unusual. It's, um, I believe, a new design. It's an 8-12-8 rib with no set of trim line and no mid-bead. Actually, it works really, really well. I got on with it really, really, really happily. Uh, this week when I was shooting it. Um, took it out at the weekend, did, uh, do you know what, I was really happy with it, did I think 89 out of 100 on a sport trap, took it on the sporting layout, was very happy with that too, again in the 80s. Generally speaking, I've been really happy with it. <sighs> genuinely surprised, genuinely surprised. I was, um, when I went in and the guy said, oh look, what we've got for you, it's another 725. I was kind of, my, my heart sank a little bit, oh goody, another browning. Um, but I'm happy to say that this is a significantly different gun. I don't know what it is, whether it be um, just around the difference in the stock or something. Something about this gun, it, it just shoots way nicer. Not necessarily the way that it swings or indeed the way that you break clays with it because I think in fairness, if you get on with that size of stock on the original 7 the 7252, it might suit you down to the ground, but it didn't suit me. Um, but something about the uh, guns out by the way, the way that this one mounts uh, is just a, a much, much more uh, fitted experience. The trigger's in a better position, my hand's in a better position because of the way the palm swell is. It's just way nicer to shoot. Uh, it didn't beat me up. And if I'm honest, I do much prefer the Beaver Tail forend. The 75.2 has the tulip shape, which has got quite a sharp, uh, sharply angled uh, end on it, where the tulip is. Not a fan of that, a little bit too small. This is a, a good meaty trap, if you will, forehand. Get a good hold of it. Really enjoyed shooting it. I'll say that again. I'm not sure this is ever a gun you're going to get out of your gun slip and people are going to go, ooh, what's that? It's, it's a browning. Um, they are, I'm not going to say pedestrian, but they're... As a, as a styling exercise, quite plain. And I guess if you like that, then that's what you like. It's great. The um, the gold lettering on there, I guess, is um, an acquired taste. <laughs> um, but do you know what? I've got on with this gun. I can't badmouth it. There's a lot to like about it. Very, very pleasant to shoot. I've not um, not had any problems with it. Not Recall-wise, I've definitely not had the same problems as I had with the original 725. Don't know why, again, I think it's got to be down to the dimensions of the stock and the adjustability, being able to get it in the right place so that it's not punching me in the face constantly. Um, definitely be a contender this gun. I'm going to say recommended. Give it a try. So let's talk about what's in the box. This is the um, Negrini ABS case that you get with the 75 Pro Sport. You get a pair of socks, so you've got one for the barrels and one for the stock. You get a spare patch my decelerator pad, full set of Invective DS chokes, if you've seen a brand before you know what these are like, choke key, 
set of weights for setting up the, uh, the stock. So that, that, those ones go in the stock. Um, these ones are the ones that attach to the barrel. They attach either side of the midrib, going through the slots in the midrib, using these little uh, nuts here. Uh, set of Allen keys for them. Pair of triggers, aside from the, the gun's currently got the thin one on, so you get a thin one. You get this one, which has got a heavy right-handed curve on it, which is the wider one. And then you get another wide one with a knurled face. That's it, tell you what's in the box. Everything comes quite nicely packaged. That's about it. Oh, no, that isn't it. I lie. So, what we have here is this rather nifty little container which has a selection of different beads in it. You can switch out the beads, you get some red ones, some green ones, and some white ones. So, basically, you can have whatever colour bead you want. A quick addendum. It turns out on inspection of the data sheet, one of the reasons that this gun is much better at soaking up recoil is the fact that it's a pound heavier than the 7252. Six, sorry, seven and a half for the 725 Mark II, this thing's eight and a half or 8.6. Uh, definitely this is going to be a gun that suits you if you want a heavier setup. Bear in mind as well that you've got all those weights in the stock and in the fore end that you are throwing on the barrels that you can add to the gun to change the balance. This is by far the, the sort of heavier setup and definitely something that I think you're going to be more suited to if you like heavy guns, as I do. Alright, so, um, apologies for not picking that up in the first section. <laughs> and um, Thanks very much for watching, throw me a subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Thanks everybody.